License and registration, proof of insurance, please. Give, give it to me. Give me that. Oh my God, what have you done? Hey sis, yes, I just got a rental car and I'm on my way to the port now. The ferry doesn't leave for an hour so I have some time. Yes, at exactly 1.25 p.m. I'm going to say a prayer and spread our ashes into the ocean. I wish you could be here too sis. I'll call you after, thanks. Love you too, sis. Afternoon, sir. License and registration, proof of insurance, please. Yes, officer. Here's my driver's license. Thank it's you. It's a rental. Where is my registration? Oh, here it is. There you go. So this is not your vehicle? No, it's a rental car. In a hurry today, are we? I was on my way to the port. The ferry leaves soon. Was I speeding, officer? You were going over the posted speed limit. Yes, sir. Dispatch, this is Officer Adams. I'm requesting backup at uh, 85th and Flamingo Road. And sir, what is that container next to you there? It's an urn, officer. It's my mother's ashes. Well, that doesn't look like an urn. Well, it's what the mortuary had in our price range. My mother's final wishes was to have her remains spread into the ocean. Sir, will you please step out of the vehicle? I'm sorry if I was speeding, officer. I can't miss that ferry. It leaves in 20 minutes. Well, I'm definitely going to give you a ticket for the speeding, so I don't think you're going to make that ferry. But not to worry, there's another one in 30 minutes. You can catch that ferry. That ruins the entire plan. The plan? What plan? What is that noise? What noise? There is ticking coming from that so-called urn. What is in there? I told you, officer, it's my mother's ashes. Ashes don't make noises. Oh, the watch. What watch? My father's watch. It was the last gift my mother gave to him. She wanted it buried with her. I'm not buying it. Give me that. Give me that. Give, give it to me. Give me that. Oh my God, what have you done? All right, that's it. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Ridiculous. Officer Adams, what seems to be the problem here? Hello, Captain. I pulled this suspect over because he was speeding and he had a suspicious receptacle in the car next to him and I heard 
strange ticking noises coming from said object and, and then an alarm went off. Is that the alleged object here on the ground? Yes, sir. It fell out of his hands when the alarm started blaring. That's not true. Sir, sir, I need you to remain calm, please. So, thank you. Tell me what happened. I was on my way to the port. This officer pulled me over. She, she said I was speeding. She asked what was in the container, and I told her it was my mother's remains, and I was on my way to pour it into the ocean. And then what happened? She grabs it from my arm, and the watch that was inside, I guess the alarm went off. She panicked and freaked out and drops it on the ground. Now my poor mother's ashes is all over the streets. What a nightmare. I have an evidence bag. Here you go, sir. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. <sighs> Officer Adams, you are dismissed. I want you to go to the station and wait for me. We have a lot to discuss. Yes, Captain. Well, sir, you're free to go, and you have my deepest, deepest apologies about what happened today. Hey, how about I give you a police escort to the port? No thanks. That won't be necessary. I already missed my ferry. Well, another one comes in at 2 o'clock. You definitely can make that one on time. No, but you see, today would have been my mother's 75th birthday, so the plan was to pour her ashes in the ocean at exactly 1.25 p.m. That was the exact time she was born. Wow, that's sweet. But it's 1.22 now. Yeah, I'll never make it. Mm. I have an idea. Come with me. Look, I know this isn't what you had in mind, but in one minute it's going to be 1.25, and I was thinking, Maybe we could have a prayer. Maybe you could say a couple of words about your mother. I'm sorry, but what was your mother's name? Dorothy. Dorothy May Rogers. Dorothy May Rogers. Well, happy birthday. Thank you.